It's getting close to weaning time for those who raise spring calves. The first question we usually ask is, how much did they weigh? However, there are other questions we should ask besides weaning weight. Here are three of them. Number one, how much did it cost? Did you have to feed expensive supplements to get them bred back? What about the cost of forage? A cow will consume an average of 3% of her body weight. At that rate, an 1,100-pound cow needs 33 pounds of forage per day. A 1,600-pound cow needs 48. That's a big difference. It affects stocking rate and, in turn, the number of calves raised per acre. With this example, you could graze 30% more of the smaller cows. Number two, what's your percentage of live calves? Did your cows calve unassisted? Most ranchers that brag about big weaning weights will not tell you how many calves they lost at calving time or recount the horrors of winter births. For many, 90% live calves is a good year. Personally, I never came close to 100% calving success until I started using PCC Calving Ease Bulls. Number three, how efficient are your cows? Can they wean 50% of their own body weight? Take a look at this. It's no trick for an 1,100 pound cow to wean 50% of her body weight or 550 pounds. However, it is a tall task for a 1,600 pound cow to wean 50% of her body weight. That would be 800 pounds. The average large frame cow is lucky to wean 35% of her body weight. These 1,200 pound cows hit nearly 50% year after year. The bottom line is this. Not only did PCC genetics allow me to raise more live calves, but I also produced more pounds of beef per acre that are worth more dollars per pound. All that just by changing the type of bulls we use. If you raise your own replacement heifers, you need a moderate frame, low maintenance calving ease bull that will add these traits to your cow herd. There's no better time than this fall with over 500 bulls selling at a sale near you. Check out our online catalog at pharaohcattle.com or call 800-311-0995 for a catalog of your own. I'll see you next time on the Herd Quitter Minute.